my new journal, which is Hobonichi Weeks. It's a mega. Um, actually, this one is just the Hobonichi Weeks, a regular one. My uh, newest journal I had to get is a mega, and which means it's got about 218 extra note pages in the back. But today I'm using my original one to do a sample in and then um, and share it with you how I'm setting it up. So I'm just going to, I just had an idea and I thought, well, I'll just quickly uh, do a little video and let you watch me while I um, set up my page. And then I'll do the same thing over in my working journal. So um, in the Hobonichi Weeks, they've got this one page and it is sectioned into seven sections it's like a horizontal spread um, and I am learning to love it um, it's completely different than my vertical um, Erin Condren and it's actually different than the way I used to set up my LTs but um, I like it I like to write small which kind of sometimes you have to do in this little journal um, and so, uh, but I'm having a lot of fun with it because I can still do some uh, artwork on the other page if I don't have a lot to say or a lot to do that week. And so, and just uh, as a note, this is two of our new edger stencils. Um, the heart edger number two, which is this larger heart. And then in behind, I put the heart edger number one, and it's a scattering of smaller hearts. So um, you can find those on our website. But today I was going to play with some of our number stencils and see how they fit on these um, little pages. And so I'm just going and drawing some guidelines in pencil. I divided the page in half. I drew a little margin a line at the top of each section. And that will just keep me from running my date over um, the, the um, boxes that are already printed on the page. So, and then I'll erase these lines when I'm done. But anyway, I just, um, I don't know, I just thought I'd play today. So um, this is going to be for the 28th. And so what I did was I did a center line and I'm going to now just butt my two up to the um, guideline that I just drew. And I'm going to color it in. Oh, and I'm using my, um, oh gosh, I think this is daily five stencil. I will post it down below the video when I uh, list the video. So um, it the font on this one matches our Alpha 15 font, which is like one of our favorites. So it's got kind of a little bit of a whimsical look to it. So anyway, so I just put the two on that side of the center line. I hope you can see that. And now I'm going to put the 28 on the other side. And this just helps me kind of keep everything straight. So where's that line? There it is. Just like that. And oops, I didn't make it very straight, but it's okay. Actually, I kind of like it like that. In fact, I'm going to try and be off on all of them. I think I'll purposely tilt some. So they look kind of rubber stamped. My pencils aren't very sharp or else they'd do a better job in here. In fact, I'll... A little sharp. There we go. And 30. I think what I'll do is uh, use some of our number stencils and just do a sample page in here so you can kind of get an idea of the size of how our number stencils fit into a smaller type album like a B6 or um, you know A6 or a smaller one like these Hobonichi ones. So I will post some photos on our Facebook page that show some size comparisons between the different albums. So. Um, And January has 31 days. I'm going to put this one high. There. And then 
February 1st. Now, because I have this pencil line, I'm going to erase it a little bit. Since I'm into single digits now for the dates. three nice and straight. There's a very faint grid on these pages. I don't think the camera would pick it up, but it is very faint. I'm using my Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils, which really happen to be my favorite. Um, and especially on this slick Tomo River paper that's in these Hobonichi Weeks journals. Um, I really love the way it colors on here. It's very, very smooth. been a while since I've done a video so I hope I'm staying in frame for you I'll try and edit it at the end and let's hope this is the start of more videos to come I've been under the weather and getting over a little surgery big surgery Depends how you look at it. Um, I'm feeling really good and feeling creative. So I want to get back into the swing of things. I want to thank everybody for your prayers and thoughts. That was super. I, I knew I had people thinking of me. So anyway, so uh, here I am. And so I did the date of those dates. Um, I think I'll erase my lines before I do this next step. Now all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go through and um, I think right across the top of the digits I'm going to write the name of the day.
And so the reason I did that um, is pretty much because I wanted to get away from the um, the Japanese uh, symbols here and just add a little bit of uh, decoration to offset the uh, the stenciling I did over here. And then I have um, some washi tape here that uh, Jennifer's created, and I wanted to be sure and be able to use that for the beginning of February. So it's some pretty little hearts, and so I just wanted to put that down there. I'm going to cover up that line. And that is probably all I'm going to do on this page besides um, making note of my appointments that I have coming up. So, but I just kind of wanted to share with you one way that I was going to set up in my Hobonichi. I still have room to write my appointments and any notes that I have here. I'm going to try and do... Um, and I have a lot of design work coming up in the next month and we're getting ready for our Chicago planner convention which we're super excited about and I've got a lot of work to do there so I'm going to start using these um, right hand pages for um, for that and making the notes for what we've got to get going and get together but anyway that's a quick um, hope you can see all that a quick way that I'm going to set up for um, my uh, two weeks from now so the beginning of February so thanks for watching